We interrupt this podcast to bring you breaking news. Ivalo Petev has been sacked by the Bosnian national team. This comes after a 1-0 victory over France and a 1-1 draw against Finland. We're hearing just now that they have hired an unknown coach who goes by Irfo Slavia. He has no coaching experience, no football manager experience. This circus of the Football Association continues to confuse many Bosnians across the world. There is a press conference with the new manager of the national team. Let's go over to Jacksonville, Florida, where the pressure is being held right now. Is this Premi? Is this Premi? All right, I'm on. Dobro došli svi. Ja sam Irfan. Gospodine, mi samo pričamo engleski ovdje. Izvinite, izvinite. I'm just here to say the FA has made a great choice in appointing me as manager. Yes, I know. In the FM22 world, Petev somehow got a win against France, but he lost to Ukraine and he drew against Finland. So what did the FA decide to do? They decided to sack him. And rightfully so. The game's the game. I wish him the best. But this is my team now. It's the truly. As for the World Cup qualifiers, I would like to qualify, obviously. But thanks to Petev, with a draw against Finland and a loss to Ukraine, somehow beating France, we are third place in the, in the nation, in the qualifiers. But I have hope. We have hope that we can get first place, possibly second place, and fight our way through the playoffs and qualify for this World Cup. The 2014 national team in Brazil was my favorite national team ever because we qualified for the World Cup and it was just a superior team. I'm hoping to bring that same team, that same energy back to 2022 World Cup and give the fans what they want, their favorite team to be this year's national team. I, I can't take any questions. I have a game against England in 48 hours. I got to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. My first game as a head coach is against England. Literally throw me in the fire. I don't have a team ready. Typical football association. But I built my lineup and will have to stick with what Petev has called up. England don't seem to be playing the strongest lineup. So this might be good for us. And already in the 50th second of the game. England with the possession. And all Alex Oxlade-Chamber finds Abraham who scores a goal. And we are down 1-0. But don't stop there because here's our defense, our Bosnia lineup, doing what they do best. Possession. Gazi Begovic, who's looking through, finds Stevanovic. Stevanovic goes through, hits a cross deep. Lucky bounce, but Edin Dzeko scores the goal. 1-1, Bosnia-Herzegovina. We're playing well here. Look at the stats here. 7-2, 2-2 for us. We are dominating us right now, but... This is Bosnia. We have pride. Let's get this win, boys. Luka Menelo got injured during half, so I had to sub him out for Amer Goyak. We start off the second half in the 54th minute. Kola Shinats goes through. Looking around. Who we got here? Ahmed Hojic. Stevanovic finds Gazi Begovic. Gazi Begovic finds Djeko. Djeko scores a goal. 2-1 against England. Come on, boys. He demo. But... I have to sub on Vranjes because I just give him playing time and I don't know what happened here. Tsimiro kicks it off. England gets the ball and look at this. Vranjes jumps for the ball and misses it. Abram scores and yeah. That's the goal right there. 2-2. Two, two. Menelo gets injured during his Bosnian duty but Jacob shines. So as you see here, Ukraine are first, French are second, Bosnia and Herzegovina are third. We beat France, we drew against Finland, and we lost to Ukraine. Shout out Petev, you just made my job easier. So when we did the live stream, well, we were losing every game. After the game, it was time to call the players that I wanted on my team. I called Vishcha, I called youngster Hasic, but he was injured, so he couldn't come to the team yet. I looked at Amar Dedic, I called up Mira Lampianic, Hajika Dunic, the Americanats Riyad Kobiliar, the Americanats Amar Sejdic. But Amar Dedic declined my call up because he wants to play for Austria. Ayebiga. Ricky accepts. Amar Sedic wasn't really feeling traveling from Atlanta to Bosnia for games. But after a few Raki and Chivapi, you know I convinced him to come join my team. 
after doing all the lineups, I decided to make a B team just to keep track of everything's going on. So it's time to find a coach. I sent an offer out to Eventa Adibishish to be my B team coach. He declined. I sent an offer to Safa Susic, but he declined as well. Seat Sahuic, come help a brother out. Nope. Misimu, which was my last hope, and he declined. Heartbroken. But then I get this email. Ahmed Hojic is injured. Nothing is going on, so I decided to talk to him, let him know he will always have a spot on a team. Pasha Moy. He's out for four months, so I put in Sinisha to see what he can do. I went through the staffing. It was time to find a coach who actually wanted a job as a B-team head coach. Luckily, this guy, Luka Palic, liked the job and accepted my offer. Then it was time to announce the World Cup qualifier squad. We got Asmir Begovic, Ibrahim Sehic, Nikola Vasil, Eldar Cevic, Yusef Gazi Begovic, Denis Hajikadunic, Seyad Koloshina, Senad Lulic, Sinisa Sanichani, Darko Todorovic, Ogyen Raniesh, Kojko Cimrod, Amer Goyak, Rade Krunic, Stepan Lonchar, Luka Menalo, Miralan Pjanic, Sanjin Pricic, Miroslav Stevanovic, Edin Vizca, Ermedin Demirovic, Edin Dzeko, Ismail Prevliak. With everything set in place, it's time to take this Bosnian national team to greatness. Make the national team great again. But to do that, I need the help from the fans, you people. Feel free to comment down below on my tactics on the player call-ups, what this series can lead to. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because I will be making content on this. This may be your only chance to see your input before I get this team going. So with that being said, can we beat Kazakhstan? Stay tuned to find out. This has been your boy Irfan. Ciao.